If you're an athlete, stop wasting money on useless supplements. The truth is 90% of them are absolute garbage. But there are three that are 100% backed by science to improve strength, recovery, and speed. My name is Matt Ross and today we're gonna break down my top three supplements that I believe every athlete should take. Once again, it's backed by science, not hype. Plus you're gonna to wanna to stay till the end because I'm gonna expose the three biggest supplement scams that are a complete waste of your money. With that being said, number one, whey protein. If you want more muscle, better recovery, and improved endurance, protein is a non-negotiable. Protein builds muscle, we all know that, but every athlete struggles to get enough even if they think that they're getting it. Whey protein literally makes it the easiest way possible to get more protein. Literally 20 to 40 grams in a bottle. Now is it the only protein that you should be consuming? No, you need well-balanced meals, eat natural foods, steak, chicken, salmon, all that fun stuff, but it's literally powdered gold. So if you're sitting there wondering why it's hard to put on weight, you're not really gaining that much strength and you're probably sore all the time, you need more protein. This is literally the easiest way possible. But there is something to look out for. Not all proteins are made the same. On the back of the nutrition label, look for whey protein isolate. Now some proteins will have a little bit of a blend of isolate, concentrate, and whatever other concoction they can make up. Isolate is simply the best that you can take. It's the easiest on your body and it's gonna digest a lot better. Now this next one you've probably heard of before, but I'm sure all the gym bros might tell you one thing. All your friends are probably scared of it, but it is something that is the most researched supplement on the entire planet, and yet it still gets a bad rap somehow. Number two, creatine. But even that word seems to trigger people, but let me explain to you all the wonderful benefits of creatine. You know how I said it's the most researched supplement? Well, according to a 2021 study in the National Institute of Health, creatine is stated as one of the most researched supplements in the world and has been proven to increase muscle strength and power, especially in explosive sports, improve sprint performance, which I think we would all agree is great for sports, and it reduces muscle damage plus speeds up recovery simply by regenerating the ATP that your body needs to perform. These are some pretty bold claims, but I'm not making them. You'll gain more power, you'll gain more strength, you'll run faster, and you will recover better. It sounds insane. But as I said at the beginning of this video, science backed, so. Creatine helps regenerate adenosine triphosphate, ATP, which is your body's fastest energy source. So by definition, the more ATP you have, the more your body has of energy to be able to use. Now this is stored inside of your muscles. To do that, your muscles will bring in water with it. That's where you hear a lot of the myths of like, it makes you hold on to water, you'll get super bloated. All this. It will be inside of your muscles. It is wonderful for you as an athlete. And it is literally giving your body the necessary energy it needs to perform. I don't know why you wouldn't take it. Now, one question that I get asked a lot is at what age should you start taking it? And it's a great question. If you're in middle school, probably don't need it right now. Your body's growing at a fast enough rate and changing a lot that it's really not worth it at the moment. And I'm actually gonna cover one more myth about creatine, but if you're in high school, I think it's time. Now, don't just listen to me. Ask your medical professional, primary care doctor, whoever you see, uh, if this is right for you. But my recommendation to all of my athletes that are at least in high school is to take creatine. By the way, if you're in college or even at the professional level and you're still not taking it, we gotta talk. But as I said, there's one more myth to bust. When people think of supplements, they think of like a man-made concoction of stuff. Creatine is natural. It's found in red meat. So if you eat a steak, you're getting creatine. If you eat ground beef, you're getting creatine. Now granted, the amount of steak that you would have to eat to get five grams of creatine, it's a lot, but that's why they have it in a powder form for you to take. I take five grams a day every single night before I go to bed. The timing isn't very necessary, that's just when I like to take it. So take it when you like, but creatine is the most researched supplement on this planet. If I were to list all of the studies done, we would be here for hours. If you want to do your own research, great but we still have one more to cover plus all the useless supplements. So number three is a pre-workout. Now before you go on and say about how bad caffeine is, I do not mean the absolute cracked out stimulants that are three, 400, 500 milligrams of caffeine. That is not what I'm saying. A pre-workout with 100 to 200 milligrams of caffeine plus clinical doses of other ingredients can do wonders for you. 
Once again, this is something that is going to be on a case-by-case -case basis. Some people don't handle caffeine well. Some people don't feel caffeine at all. So when looking at supplements, you should consult a doctor if you are worried. I take a pre-workout before every single one of my lifts. Plus, during my career, I would take it for games. Not because I wanted to be absolutely cracked out of my mind, but because there are actual ingredients in some of them that help you focus that give you longer lasting energy. I'm not gonna lie to you, when you play a ton of games, day after day after day, you need something to pick you up. So, whatever you do, do not abuse it. Understand that a good pre-workout is a great option for you, especially when it's needed. Some other ingredients to look for, beta alanine. Now, some people don't like this, that's kind of that tingly feeling. Some have them, some don't. That is truly a personal preference. However, it has been shown to help with endurance. Don't forget, we're athletes, so you wanna make sure that you get an athlete-friendly pre-workout. Ideally, it has electrolytes in them to help with hydration too. You just don't want the excessive stimulants that are gonna make you crash hours later. And of course, all these supplements cost money, but you need to make sure you're spending your money on the right ones. So here are three that you need to stay away from because they're a complete waste of money. Number one, glutamine. Some people are gonna hate that answer, but hear me out. This was hyped as a muscle recovery supplement, but studies show that it does almost nothing for you. The reason why is your body naturally produces it, so supplementing it doesn't really give you extra benefit. And no matter how good the commercials are, number two, testosterone boosters are a complete scam. Are there ingredients that could boost testosterone? Probably, but you are an athlete. If you work out, you eat enough food, you sleep, and you do what you're supposed to do. Getting a fake testosterone booster to help you in your career is a complete joke. And if any of you are taking testosterone boosters right now, please get off of them as soon as you possibly can. I'm sure that you can find studies supporting certain ingredients. That's not my point. You're spending hundreds of dollars on these pills that really aren't even increasing your testosterone by 100 points. And what are you really expecting to happen? That it's going to magically make you better? No, what you're doing is relying on a pill to give you an excuse as to why you're not good enough. If that hits a little too close to home, look in the mirror more often. And I hope none of you are taking these last ones, but fat burners are just overpriced caffeine pills. If you have any of them, please just get them out of your closet, go dump them down the toilet or something, and never buy them again. If you really need to lose fat, just eat in a calorie deficit, do a little bit more cardio, and strength train. But for most of you watching this right now, I can almost guarantee that you don't need to lose fat, you just need to get stronger. Remember, we're athletes. You need to care about getting strong, moving with speed, and moving with power. These supplements are gonna get you there. Glutamine, testosterone boosters, and fat burners are not. And as always, my name's Matt Ross. Never be cocky, just convinced. Oh, and make sure you subscribe.